Good morning. Today we're exploring around Larne and starting with Glenno Waterfall. This isn't actually Glenno Waterfall. This is like a small bit at the top of Glenno Waterfall. The main Glenno Waterfall is that way. If you're feeling particularly brave, you can come up here and uh, take a little dip in this pool. It's pretty cool. I've definitely spent too much time beside the sounds of running water because now I need to go to the toilet. Uh, I'm quite hungry, so we're going to head down to Larne and get something to eat. When you think about Larne, often you think about the docks and the power station, but actually there's some really interesting things in Larne, like this. The Chain Memorial Tower, which was built in memory of James Chain, who's the guy who pretty much founded Larne. He established the sea routes over to Scotland and the port, and so they built this tower in memory of him. And the guy himself is actually buried in the park that's up there. This mound here is where James Chain is buried. The sign over there says he was buried upright wearing his yachting gear, but earlier in town a local said he was buried upside down on a horse. Not sure which is stranger. Lawrence Public Park is actually really nice. We've got this big green area, there's a bandstand, there's an adventure playground, there's a tennis court, there's an outdoor gym. Hmm, let me go play some tennis. You ready to go and play tennis? Yes! Did you bring any tennis bats? We're not playing tennis. Just find a tennis ball. Ah, something has been chewing us. At the very end of the public park, there's this little secluded garden, and apparently, there's a fossil of some ancient creature at the bottom. In 1999, they found the skeleton of a marine dinosaur here, and apparently this entire area is full of fossils. Not that we find any. Um, all I find so far has been limpets and seaweed. Probably don't know what we're looking for, but uh, here's hoping for a T-Rex. I found a little indentation in the rock. I don't know if it's a fossil or just a limpet mark. Done with Larne Public Park, and now we're down here at Carn Funnock Country Park, which at one point was voted Northern Ireland's best attraction for families. But there's still stuff to do here, even if you're not five years old. <laughs> this entire garden is filled with sundials. It's currently half two, so I'm gonna go and see if any of them are actually accurate. Oh, this one is half two. Oh, this one's off. I think it's half one. This one here is quite cool because you become the R hand. So there's slabs for different months of the year. So if I stand on July, that's pretty cool. I don't have any more time for the time garden and I wanna see something that's a lot more amazing. So let's go and be amazed. It's a maze. Let's see who can find their way to the middle of the maze first. Oh, I may have been in the wrong entrance, but never actually find the middle. I give up. Oh, hello. Look at this guy. It's a little bit creepy. Oh, 
house up here? Like a house made of ice? Yes! <laughs> this is not what I was hoping for, especially on a hot day like this. This is not a house. It's also not made of ice, nor does it contain any ice. If you get it all the way up here, you're now at the back of Carn Funnock, and we're now at the entrance to Chains Wood. And if you go right all the way through the forest, you'll actually eventually come out in Ballygally. There's these little bits off the side. We can go down steps, right down in through the trees. The plan now is to drive on round to Ballygally, have a barbecue, then get the kayak, go out in the sea. Ballygally has a beach, shop that sells ice cream, and a castle. So pretty much everything you would need. We're out in the kayak near Bally Galley, just exploring around the edges. I've never actually been around here in the kayak before. It's just bliss. I've got salty water in my eye though, which isn't bliss. It's quite sore. We find a huge jellyfish, look! The sea around here is absolutely swarming with jellyfish. I'm less keen to jump in the water now. <laughs> it's lovely and warm. I don't know how I'm gonna get back in again though, I'm too short. I just find a crab, he's not one bit happy. Come back here. The waterfalls, browns, memorial towers, promenades, fossils, parks, graves, Forests, more parks, the sea, jellyfish, a beach. That's how we managed to kill 12 hours exploring the areas around Larne. 